Welcome everyone to the BeMobileSales.com tutorial. This is to show how you can review and edit transactions that have been sent from the device back to BeMobileSales.com. So you go to BeMobileSales.com, you simply click on login at the top left. Um, you're going to put in your um, username and password. It's going to remind you about the free trial. You're going to go ahead and come in and see the transactions that have been uploaded. Now when I came in, I have transactions sorted or grouped by type, um, so I can collapse and uh, decollapse the um, or expand the types of items that I'm looking at. I can also take that filter away and just go back to the list. Notice I can filter by date ranges. I can also filter by transactions that are posted or unposted. By default, it shows you unposted transactions. So at this point, that's the only three transactions I have in. None of, none of my transactions thus far have been sent to QuickBooks. Once I have the, the list to where I want it, and once I am looking want to look at a transaction, I can go to the sales order for call homes, and I can come in and I can edit this particular uh, transaction because it is still in an unposted status. So I can add things like uh, a PO number. I can maybe say, well, boy, I chose the wrong brass item. I really want the chrome, uh, polished chrome. Um, I can change the price. I can delete an item. Currently, the only thing you cannot do is add another item. But I do want to notice, I want you to take notice of a few actions that are available down below. First is, notice that we're carrying the signature back from the transaction to the web. And that signature is always available to you in history. And what I can do from here is once I'm, um, possibly a customer calls me and wants another copy of this invoice with a signature, I can say email and print. And it would create a render of that transaction with signature and I can go ahead and click on send a new email and it would instantaneously send a copy to that customer's email on file. Um, I can also mark it as posted if for some reason it needed to get into QuickBooks sooner than the synchronization process I could automatically mark it. I could cancel the changes that um, I performing by uh, changing some of those line item numbers and PO number and things of that nature. I can delete uh, the transaction maybe it's just bogus and I don't need it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and save my transaction and put me back into the list. And that's editing transactions. Certainly some of the same functionality is around customers. I can come in and review my customer list. I can create a list mode to review certain ones and sort and filter. We'll highlight the uh, sorting and filter once we get to that grid. Okay, we're on the customer list. Now uh, you can see a few new functionalities that are on here. One is a great example of, of um, filtering or grouping would be a ship to. If I want to ship to by, go by shipping state, I can see all the different states that are associated to my customers. Maybe that's how I break my territories up. So if I want to see California and I want to look at Dan North, I can look at him. I can also sort by ascending, descending. So let's say I want to sort by postal code. I can just click on the header and it'd sort um, those different groups by that major header um, or by that, that column. Um, once I have a, a particular person that I want to look at, I just simply click on the hyperlink and at this point I'm into an edit mode of this customer and the option to save those changes can be taken and those changes will be sent to QuickBooks. The inventory tab does not currently have any edited ed edit ability, but you can certainly look and review the items on the on the web that are inside of the, the database. Once we have transactions that are in the database and inside of bmobilesales.com, really the next step is to go ahead and um, send those transactions into bmobile. So that is done without being in bmobilesales.com. You, you would be able to review and edit and change anything before this happens. But I'm going to go ahead and have QuickBooks open. I'm going to come back to my desktop and I'm going to launch BMobile Sync Tool, which puts me into the application. And then I'm going to say get, uh, get data and send to QuickBooks. At this point, it brings me into a grid of unposted transactions. And since um, this is the first time, I'm going to go ahead and click on Retrieve Items. And it brings those three transactions that are available, meaning they are in the bmobilesales.com website 
database and they have not been posted yet. So I'm going to go and choose all three of them or if I want to choose just a couple I could do that and I'm going to go ahead and say post selected and at that point in the bottom left hand corner it shows you as it goes through those changes and gives you a, a status of when it's complete. So at that point I've sent those into QuickBooks and they're reviewable within inside QuickBooks. A great practice is to update QuickBooks fairly often. So when I'm ready to update from QuickBooks to bmobilesales.com, I simply click on send information up to the web and hit start. And again, it sends that information back through the synchronization tool to give the latest information to the people in the field. All right, that is review and edit and also some new functionality that's uh, within the bmobilesales.com website and the send that information to QuickBooks and getting it uh, all the way through the cycle.